Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be running through how to install the Fire EMS Pager and Fire Siren resource and I'm also going to be running through how to add custom tones and custom stations. The first thing you're going to want to do is download a fresh copy of the resource. You can do this by finding the GitHub link on the 5M forum page or in the description of this video. Once you're on GitHub, you're going to hit this button and hit download. The resource has finished downloading and is now sitting on my desktop. Next thing you're going to want to do is open up your server files. For me, this is just locally on my computer. What you're going to want to do is go to server data, resources, you're then going to want to move the zip file into the folder. If you're using WinRAR, you're going to want to extract to Fire EMS Page or Master, or if you don't have WinRAR, you can use 7-zip, which is free, and you can do the same thing, extract to Fire EMS Page or Master. Once you've extracted the file, you can delete the zip folder. Open up this folder and locate Inferno Collection. Cut this, head back to your resources folder and paste it. You can then delete this folder. Once you've done that, you're going to want to head back to server data and edit your server config. Once inside of your server config, you're going to want to add a new line that looks just like this, start Inferno Fire EMS pager. Once you've done that, save and close the file. Heading back into our resources folder, by default, the resource comes encased inside of the Inferno Collection folder. This is just a organizational folder. As you add more resources by Inferno Collection, they will build up in that folder, and it's just a neat organizational thing. Heading back into our Inferno Fire EMS Pager folder, I'm now going to run through how to set up the whitelist. The whitelist is very simple. To add a new entry, all you need to do is copy the existing one, add a comma, and paste. Each entry has four options. The first is Steam Hex. This is a player's Steam Hexadecimal. To get a person's Steam Hexadecimal, what you're going to want to do is go back to Internet Browser and open up vacband.com. Then you're going to want to copy and paste the person's Steam Community URL into the box and hit search. Once you've done that, you're going to look for Steam 3ID 64-bit and copy the user's Hexadecimal. Once you've done that, you can head back to the folder and paste that Steam Hexadecimal. Note that you do need to keep the Steam prefix. After that, you have three options, Pager, Page, and Fire Command. These are all booleans for whether or not this particular person can use these commands. For example, if you have a regular firefighter, you might give them access to the Pager command, but not give them access to the Page and Fire Siren. Whereas if you have a supervisor or a fire lieutenant or something like that, you might give them access to all three. Once you've finished with this file, you can save and close it. Next, you're going to want to open up the client LUA file. I'm going to briefly run through the configuration. The first option in the configuration is whether or not to enable chat suggestions. Chat suggestions is the little box that appears under the text box when you start typing out a command. If you do want these, keep it set to true. If you do not want these, set it to false. Next, you have whether or not you want to enable your whitelist. If you do, keep it at true and it will use that whitelist file. If you do not, equal it false and every player will be able to use all of the commands. Next you have the config.wait time. This is the time in milliseconds between the start of each tone, not the end of each tone. Typically you will not need to edit this unless you add a tone that is longer than about 6 seconds. If you do add a tone longer than 6 seconds, feel free to increase, increase this value. Next you have the size or the radius of the fire siren. This is the distance that the fire siren can be heard within. Currently it's set to 400, which comes out to approximately two city blocks. And this is the furthest distance you'll be able to hear it from, although it'll be very, very quiet. Feel free to increase this. However, keep in mind that if you increase it too large, radiuses of stations may overlap, especially in the city, and this will cause unintended side effects. Next, we have the config tones and config stations, which I'll run through in a minute. Underneath that, you have what looks like configurations. They are not. Please do not touch these unless you know what you're doing. And that is how you install the Inferno Fire EMS Pager resource. If that's all you're here for today, thank you for watching. If not, stick around and I'll be telling you how to install custom tones and custom stations. The first step in adding a custom tone is opening your resource LUA file. At the bottom of this file, you will see four default tones. To add a new tone, add a comma, copy the file path, and then add the name of your new tone. Make sure that the name of the tone is in all lower case. In 
this example, I'm going to use my new tone.mp3. Save and close this file. You're then going to want to head back to a client LAWA file, locate config.tones, and add a new entry at the end of this array. Again, making sure to add a comma. Here, I'm going to put my new tone. Note that you do not need the .mp3 file extension here. Once you've done this, save and close this file. Next, you're going to want to go into HTML, Sounds. Here is where you place the new tone. I have mine on my desktop. I'm going to drag it in. Once you've dragged it in, make sure it is in all lowercase, and make sure that this name matches up with the other name that you placed inside of the resource LUA file and the client file. Next, I'm going to run through how to add custom stations. Firstly, you're going to want to download show chords created by ElusiveT. This is a cool little resource that adds the player's coordinates on the screen. Once you've downloaded and installed that resource, you're going to want to start your server. Once you're in game, you're going to want to go to the location of your custom station. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the abandoned station at the LS port. So as you can see on screen, the show chords resource has added coordinates for your current position at the top of your screen. What we're going to do now is find a spot somewhere on the station where the origin of the fire siren will actually be. So for the default stations, typically I put it in the corner of the interior stations, or for stations that didn't have an interior, I added them on the outside. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to put it in the far corner back here. What you're going to want to do is either write down or take a screenshot of the coordinates at the top of your screen. Once you've done that, you can exit out of your game and close your server. Now that you have these coordinates, you're going to want to head back to your client.leo file. You're then going to want to find the config.stations. Once you've located that, you're going to want to add a new entry. You're going to want to give the entry a unique name. So for this example, I'm just going to put port. Make sure that the name is one word and is unique from the other names. Next, we need to put the coordinates of the station in in vector 3 form. Vector 3s are basically just x, y, and z. You can then also add a name at the end if you want to. Once you've done that, you can save and close the file and restart your server. Alright, we're back in game now, and I'm just going to quickly demonstrate that custom tone that we added earlier. So, for the purposes of the demonstration and hearing the custom tone as opposed to hearing the vibration, I'm going to tune myself to a different tone, so for example, other. And then I'm going to page the new tone. going to test out the fire siren for our new station. So we're going to type in slash fire siren port. And you can hear there that we're getting out of the radius of the station. And now, re-entering the radius. And there you go everybody, that is how you add custom tones and custom stations to your Inferno Fire EMS Pedro resource. If you have any questions, please feel free to have a read through the wiki, and also create an issue on GitHub if you need to. If neither of those really floats your boat, feel free to contact me on Discord. There is a link to my Discord server in the description of this video, as well as on GitHub. Other than that, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day.